Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic Challenge Mode. And today, we're going to be pushing challenge mode to the limits, or rather, pushing myself to the limits in challenge mode by uh, trying to... Oop, that's not normal. All right. Well, we're going to be trying to complete these challenges with the fewest amount of blocks possible. So we're going to start with challenge one here. Now, by default, the first challenge gives you a car that works and you're just going to drive it into the end zone. So I deleted everything and in my inventory is all of the parts that the car comes with. So we have 38 wooden blocks, six bearings, a single engine, four wheels, and a single seat. Now, as far as I know, uh, the seat is the marker for detecting your vehicle. I'm not in It keeps appearing there. That's super weird. So let's do some experiments and see what we can get away with. Now, I'm tempted to... Um, I, I don't I, I don't think we need all the wheels. At the very maximum, we only need three wheels. At the very minimum... Maybe we can get away with two? Actually, you know what? Let's try that. So uh, we're basically to do this challenge, every single part you place has to have a very precise purpose and use. Nothing can be extra. Can I just drag myself like across? We don't like it, it's just a straight. It's just a straight line. So we technically don't need steering as long as we can stay straight. So I'm curious what happens here. Let's just put the engine on the back like that. And then we'll put one wheel there and one wheel there. So technically, wait, can we count how many parts we've used? Oh, no, we cannot see how many parts we've used. We have to count them manually. So we have two bearings, two pieces of wood, two wheels, an engine, and a seat. And I think I'm going to just go with that and see if this can work. All right, let's put the engine up. So how many parts is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts total. Can we do it with... Oh, that is not going to work. Yeah, that is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see where I can put the engine. Hold on a second here. We can do something about this. What if we put the engine just like right there? It's not even, but we're not going for aesthetics here at all. All right, let's see if this works. There we are. Please... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um... All right, unfo wait, oh wait, oh, nope, nope. That doesn't seem to be working very well either. So apparently it's a lot harder to just go straight than I expected. But I feel like this, like this goes, oh, look at that. Huh. What if we go slower? What if we actually go slow? Oh no, I didn't mean to exit. All right, that means we're gonna have to build that all over again. All eight pieces or whatever it was. So in case you're wondering, this is what the starting vehicle looks like. So clearly, it has a lot more pieces than just uh, what we had there. So we're just going to delete everything all over again and uh, rebuild our vehicle from scratch. All right. Well, it didn't seem to work with having the wheels in the front. But what if we have our wheels in the back? Perhaps it might be easier to push than pull our vehicle here. All right. Here we go. Let's see if this... Oh, oh, this has so much more potential. So much more potential. I think if we just have the engines down a little bit, we'll have a little bit more control. Let's just go down to here, see if this works. Oh. Oh, man. It's just the weight of the engine. The weight of the engine is making us turn. Or right, let's see if we put the engine on the other side. This should theoretically make us turn to the right now. Let's just confirm to make sure. Oh, this is good. This is good. We can make it. We can make it. No, 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 no. I don't want to add any more parts because we have something that kind of goes. Oh, and you know what else? We don't have a hammer. We do, we do not have access to a hammer, so we can't hit anything. Because then theoretically, we could just have the seat and we could just hit it into the end zone. But just for clarification, I know that some people have made like catapults to fling just the seat into the finish line. I'm going to say that that counts as more using more than just the seat. Every part that goes into getting you into the finish line is uh, has to be counted for this challenge in my mind. So even if just the seat crosses the finish line, whatever part actually got you there, I think should be. Uh, oh, 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 this. Oh, get in there, please. We're so close. We're so close. We're so close. Go, 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 go. Please, please count. I don't care about the time. I just wanted to have the least amount of parts. Go. Go. 
We have this. We have this. Why isn't it? Why aren't you counting? Come on. <laughs> Just give me the finish. We're in. We're in. What is this? Are you kidding me right now? I can't, I, I can't. I can't do. I can't push. How is this not? Wait, wait, wait. We have it. We have it. We have it. Come on, please. We can't use our connection tool either, can we? No, we cannot. We are so close. I cannot believe this doesn't count. All right, I think we're, I think we're gonna have to try again. I think we're gonna have to get lucky. But wait, let me recount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. We're, we're going for eight parts right now. This looks good. This looks good. No, it just turned at the last second. Oh, dang it. Oh boy. Oh, no, 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 don't flip, don't flip. Um. Okay. All right, let me try different engine speeds. Maybe a slightly slower engine speed will be more stable. Okay, that's not that's not the appropriate engine speed. What if we go up by one? Oh, that seems a little <laughs> that's a little bit aggressive. I think we're at the best engine speed with uh, three from the bottom. I think that is probably the better engine speed of them. We just gotta get on the straight trajectory, and it seems like that's pure luck of the draw on how like the collisions are gonna treat our vehicle especially with getting out of that little zone right there uh yeah i don't can i turn i cannot there's no way for me to actually turn this but i feel like we can crash the game apparently okay we're back we gotta delete everything all over again i don't know if we're gonna oh whoa 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 calm down calm down calm down calm down calm down, calm down. Calm down. thank you I don't know if we're gonna be able to get lucky enough with these eight blocks. Maybe there's a different way we can use these blocks, or do we need all eight? I might be able to reduce it by a single block, actually. I think I know how to reduce it by one block, and that is that block is gonna be a bearing. I think we can get rid of a single bearing. So we're still gonna use the same amount of wood blocks, but we're gonna be using one less bearing. So instead of having one bearing per wheel, we just have one bearing for all two wheels, and this thing is going to be extreme. Oh, you know, what if we have the engine? That, that's not going to work. That There's no way that's going to work. What if we have the engine right here? Ooh. Ooh. Doing some high-level problem-solving here. Oh, no, that just kind of makes this completely useless. Here, let's put it up to four. Oh, no, we're going. We can go. Oh! Okay, okay, we have potential. This has potential. So now this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. So we've actually reduced the block count by one, and we actually have potential that this might be able to get us. I mean, this, this is working. If we can stay straight, it's slow. We just put it one tick down on the engine power. It is slow for sure. And I think there's a lip somewhere around here that we kept hitting before. All right, no, that was a smooth transition. Maybe the lip is like, I think this purple barrier right here, I think that is technically the start. Oh, no, apparently not. Apparently the purple barrier is not the, oh, oh, we got caught a little bit. This is the slowest, here, can I, no, yeah, this is the slowest challenge. But if we're gonna complete it, I don't know if we can complete it. You know, so we already know that this is working. So before we crash the game again, so apparently challenge mode just really doesn't like it when we uh, when we try to just not use the parts it wants us to use. But it's not going to stop me from trying. Because when Scrapman gives himself a challenge to do in a video, he becomes filled with determination. And will do whatever it takes to complete this challenge. Alright, so we are going to do this with seven blocks. I can already see the possibility. Alright, so we're going to put it up to four so I'm hoping that this is going to give us, whoops, that this is going to give us uh, a little bit more power. And we just got to really be careful with this power. Because with great power comes great responsibility. All right. Gentle. Oh, see, yeah, that that's, oh yeah, this is so much harder. Oh, if we could wheelie ourselves all the way across, imagine that. Oh, we are totally going to crash this game again. We might have to go with a slow version. All right, here we go. There we go. Go. Oh, oh, go, 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 go. No, 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 not too much, not too much. 
That looks pretty good. That doesn't look half bad at all. Who says our seat has to be uh, facing the right direction? All right, so what if we change this vehicle to work like that? All right, we're not facing the straightest. So, oh no, it's turning us the wrong way. Oh, no, now it's turning us back. I have no control over which direction this is turning. But this is much faster than the first method. Are we going to get lucky enough that it's going to turn us on the right track, though? I don't know what to do about that, to be honest. No, oh, look at that. That was a good turn. Please, please just keep us on this trajectory and just in there. This is going to take so long. All right, I'm just going to fast forward this because I don't know what's going to happen here. Guys, guys, it's happening. It's happening. Seven parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two wheels, two wood, one bearing, one engine, and one seat. We have successfully completed challenge number one in a minute and 19 seconds. I'm sure that... Look at this. <laughs> look at this. This is it right here. I cannot believe that actually worked. What would happen if we put it even... Oh, that's what happens when we do that. Okay. I would love to see... Maybe seven parts is like the lower limit, but I would love to see any other design... <gasps> No, it's not the lower limit. I just, what am I, I just thought of a, a way to do it in less than seven parts. We don't need the wood at all, people. I don't know if you are ready for this right now, but we're going from seven parts down to one, two, three, four, five parts now. We've essentially, we've just replaced the wood completely. So what were we, I think we're at four. Let's see if this will do it. I mean, that's kind of working so far. I think it's just another luck of the draw. Is it going to... Oh, the engine is pulling us for sure. Or is it? Only the time lapse will tell. Yeah, we don't really even need the time lapse, really. It's just obviously the engine isn't doing us any favors there. But let's go with one more power. See if we can do this. See if we can get like a better trajectory. Oh, okay. Okay, no, that's not really... Oh, 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 maybe we got to do it like that. I don't... The weight of the engine is the issue here right now because there's no way to really make this symmetrical. I mean, like, if I want to add a bearing, it's, it'll still be only six parts if I did it like this. So yeah, what we got here is a six-part vehicle. So we can still at least beat seven. I don't know if we can do five. All right, here it goes. This is with six. Oh, this is actually going a little bit fast. I, I have the engines on a little bit faster, so the control is kind of difficult here. Oh, this is bad. Oh, uh, and we ruined it. We ruined it. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 this is so nerve wracking. No, 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 no. We're facing the wrong way. I don't like this. Here, go back. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what's happening right now. I'm just not doing exactly what I'm trying to do. All right, here we go. Six parts. Can we keep a steady? Nope, this is not steady at all. I don't, I'm just turning around completely, apparently. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, this, okay. This reminds me of my derpa cycle. Let's just try a little bit of this going. Oh, and yeah, that's not the easiest thing to do. All right, I think this is it right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, never mind. This might be a luck thing as well, because like the direction that we're turning, we are even as far as weight for this one. And we seem to be picking up momentum, but no, we're just gonna go right off. I think there's potential for this one though. We just gotta be facing in the right direction. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 turn back. Wait, no, I got this. I got this. I can do this. I can, oh, we're right here. We are so right here. Please just hit something. Catch on something. We're so close. Oh, we're just parallel to the end zone. What is this? I know it's because you don't have any turning, but why couldn't you just give me more luck? Oh, I guess we'll try again. All right, since we seem to be going to the left, I'm going to start myself over to the right here. All right, let's see how this one goes. Come on, little dwarf. Make me proud. Please stop going to the left. We're, we're right there. We're right there. We're right on track. We're even going to beat our seven uh, part record. Yes. Come. Yes. Finally. What is it? 38 seconds. All right. I think that is officially the best we can do for this. So we know we can do it with six parts now, but the question does remain. Is it possible? Like, what if I just put a wheel right here? 
Like, how is the weight distribution going to be? Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, that's just going to turn us. That's not going to work at all. Like, the, the difficult thing with the five parts is there's no real way that I can figure out to have an even weight distribution. So, like, if you're going to do the best you can and put the engine... Like, the far the farthest you can put the engine off to the side, say, is like that. So then if you're going to put these wheels on it so that the wheels are at least centered, your engine is, is going to be throwing your weight completely off, though. Let's see. Well, I mean, we could try. Let's see what happens. I don't know if we're going to pick up the same momentum that we did before, but I feel like it's just going to always turn us to the side that the engine is on and already appears to be doing so. Here, before we get out of the zone, I actually want to turn the engines up just a little bit. All right. Yeah, see, look at what's happening here. Yeah, we're always just going to be tending to go in a circular kind of fashion. Like here, even if I back up. Oh, wait a minute. Could this work? Could we do like carving like half circles all the way to the end? Because now we're going the other direction. As soon as we start getting like off the edge on this one, I'm going to reverse the wheel direction and see if we can start curving back around the other way. That might be a possibility. Let's go ahead and uh, fast forward this. We're approaching the edge and now we're starting to go backwards. So I'm going to go forwards and we should turn left, which should continue us down the path here. Oh, this is actually working. This is actually working. I think we might be able to put ourselves in with this method because then we're going to curve back around and then we're just going to go backwards again. And it's just going to be like a, like a, 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 I don't know, like just half loops going all the way over. All right, we're going to wait till we get near the edge. Okay. Now, as we go backwards, we should continue to turn to the left. And this should pretty much bring us into the zone, but much slower. Let's go ahead and fast forward. And here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how that was working, but it was totally working. It just give us the win. There we go. It took us three and a half minutes to do it with, what was this, five parts? Let's count them up again here. We got the seat, two wheels, a single bearing, and an engine. That is five parts. There's one, I think we can go one less final idea to reduce this by a single part. And that is basically to only use one wheel. I mean, this is literally the least possible amount of parts to get any movement. You have your seat, you have your engine, you have your bearing and you have your wheel. There is no simpler this can possibly get to move unless you just attach the engine to the wheel without the seat, but then you're not technically in control and can't complete the challenge anyway. All right, so my big issue with this is that this wheel is not centered. It's not gonna provide enough balance. This engine is gonna offset everything and we're just gonna tip over. So I don't think this is possible, but we have to try. Yeah, it's already starting to tip. All right, let's see what happens. We're on three. Let's just see what happens on three. Okay, that it, there's movement. What happens on four? Is that too much? It is not too much. Oh, you know what? What if we can do the same thing? What if we can do the same thing with this? As long as we don't tip over. Now, if we go backwards... Oh. Oh, no, that's not going to work the same way. And the reason being... Oh, no, that's not what I thought was happening. I thought the engine was in contact. The engine is not in contact. So this one, for some reason... This keeps turning us back and forth on the same circumference, whereas the last one with the two wheels was bringing us onto new, onto a new circumference rather than going back on the same circumference. So, uh, it's weird that the, just the one, the one wheel makes that difference, or perhaps it's just the weight. Let's try our other seat method here. Let's see what this does. Oh, the weight is so off on this one. Okay, does this get, no, this is just gonna, we're just gonna go in circles with this. Okay, this idea is not showing promise. There's one modification I want to make, though. I want to try the engine in the same position as it was before when we were doing, like, the half circles all the way down and see if we can get a similar half circle effect going. But I think our weight is just going to be too one-sided and we're just going to tip over. But so far, it's not too bad. All right, here we go. Forward. Oh, oh, too much, too much. Don't tip over. Ugh. All right, let's just... Make it gentle. Make it gentle. All right, I'm actually kind of surprised that this 
isn't tipping us or uh, turning us as much. Oh, oh no way! Is this gonna work? Oh no 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 no! Okay, there's this could work. I did not expect this. Four parts could work. Please stay steady. Please stay steady. This is no no no. Go go go! Woo! Record time too. We just did it with four parts. That is the absolute bare minimum. I think this I think this is the the best possible part efficiency you can get in this challenge. If you could do it with less than four parts, I'll be extremely confused and want to know how you did that. Let me know in the comments. I, I, I have no ideas on how we could possibly delete any of these parts. Every single part is the bare minimum of what you need pretty much. So here it is. This is our final product vehicle. So you can count them yourself. We have one bearing, we have one engine, one wheel, one seat four parts. Let me know what do you think about this as a challenge? Should we tackle challenges two, three, and four? A uh, kind of mode of what's the fewest amount of parts we can we can use? Now, obviously, challenges three and four, you actually have other mechanisms that you need to create in order to successfully traverse the terrain and uh, interact with the objects like the balls and the switches. So those ones, I think there's going to be a lot more possibilities for how, how you can use different parts. This one, I think there is there is a maximum or rather a minimum number of parts and efficiency that is possible. And I think we've reached it here, but uh, like the ball grabbers and stuff, I think it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to find what the actual minimum would be. And you could probably keep uh, coming up with new iterations. So those might get a little bit more interesting. So if you guys like this episode, maybe we'll uh, take on the other challenges with this concept and see what happens. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.